gentlemen, this is the library of the castle. And before restoration, all that remained of these three rooms was a shell of three standing stone walls. Yet, what you see here before you today is practically an exact replica of what would have been here during the time of the butlers. For this, we have old photographs and extensive detective work to thank. Now let me give you an example of this extensive detective work. During reconstruction, behind the skirting boards, small fragments of wall covering were found, their colour unaffected by sunlight. These were analysed and found to be made from linen and silk. Because this type of yellow poplin wall covering was not really the formula before Nicholas, this is one, but this is my son, and this is Eleanor Sherry. Her mother was a wren in Malta. Oh, yes. And married Godwin, Godwin Sherry. And uh, this is the daughter. She went in here to the Okay? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm telling you about the wall covering. The palmas, they both, and the boy on the other side here. Now, if you can imagine, they would have been sitting back to back. And then, if that wasn't sufficient, their chaperones, which would have been an old aunt or a minder, were placed in between them. Lovely view, Mummy. Yes. Have you been in here? Oh, 
to marry Whipper Butler with the Everards, and Richard Everard is here from Holland. And Richard Everard is actually much more of a scholar than I am about this area. The family is into marriage, so a lot of you have probably got an Everard in your family tree. Uh, the point of interest inside uh, the, the church, the modern church, which I showed some of you, but it was not the right time or place for everybody to gather around closely, is in the little side chapel up to the right of the altar. Under the floor of that side chapel is where the last John Butler in my family is buried. Um, he was Lord Dunboyne, Bishop of Cork, and a Roman Catholic Bishop of Cork. He decided he inherited the title of Lord Dunboyne fairly late in life. Uh, it decided that he ought to try and produce an heir and marry a distant cousin, and tried to produce an heir who was excommunicated by the Pope, a foul <laughs> concubine which was a heretic. <laughs> through to Cromwell and as the lady said in Feather, Feather um, surrendered to Cromwell and uh, the butlers had slightly different views about this and there's a famous battle of Feather Bridge as Cromwell tried to cross the river and head south where a handful of butlers fought Cromwell's army in a famous skirmish that must have lasted all of 30 seconds. <laughs> and then they ran back to Kiltynan 
<laughs> and um, I think there are only about 30 people, 30 men in Kiltynan Castle as Cromwell arrived and they made brave noises and they pretended there were more and held out and then Cromwell rolled out a cannon and Kiltynan was not very strongly made so um, after Cromwell had proved that he'd got a cannon and gunpowder we gave in <laughs> but we fought so bravely at the Battle of Sabbat Bridge <laughs> Listen up. The school, we welcome you. We will start by singing some temporary songs. Kill Cash and Schlieve Naman. Thank you. Well, are we?